Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be using Figma to redesign this promotion page on the Coca-Cola website. The purpose here is not to create something super flashy or trendy, but instead I hope that this video will give real working designers an example of how you can really use your design skills to make incremental improvements to a page without going outside the confines of the brand or company that you're working for. As you can see here, I have the before screenshots and we want to make sure that our solution is responsive. So we're going to be designing both a desktop and a mobile version. And what's really important before we even start to design is to make sure we understand the purpose of this page. So in looking at this, we can see that Coca-Cola is doing a promotion with some pizza chains like Domino's, it says Pizza Village here. And if we look into how it works, we can see that they're offering free pizzas and other pizza prizes, but the goal for them seems to be for as many people as possible to download their app. So we wanna make sure that piece is really frictionless and we wanna make sure that we're really enticing visitors to want to do that, wanna go through the process of downloading the app, for the chance to win those prizes. So with that in mind, there are five main things that we can do to really improve this page. Number one, let's take a look at the main copy here. So let's just see how it reads. Love pizza, win a pizza. For the chance to win amazing pizza prizes with Coca-Cola. This doesn't really entice me and it also doesn't make it clear what I have to do for the chance to win amazing pizza prizes, like win a pizza for the chance to win. It doesn't really make much sense. So we're going to change that a little bit. So I'm just going down here to where I have the content from this page. And before we even start like actually designing, I just wanna get sort of the hierarchy of this um, really in order. So love pizza, win a pizza. I think for this, the most important thing here is win a pizza. So let's get rid of this for a second. We'll add an exclamation just to make it more kind of exciting here. And then we'll put love pizza up here in maybe 30 pixel font to be sort of like a subtitle, like a lead in to this main, um, you know, attention grabber. And then here, I think we can just add scan for a chance to win amazing pizza prizes with Coca-Cola. I think this already is going to work a lot better in terms of the wording that's gonna catch people's attention and really make it clear what this page is all about. Now that we have that, number two is going to be readability. Um, we can see, we can read this pretty well on desktop, but on mobile, this really gets lost. So we're going to work on that. I'm going to grab a copy of this hero image. I'm just going to kind of pin it to the top corner, make it full width, and then I'm gonna use left bracket to bring it all the way to the back. Definitely going to need to make this text white instead, but even so, it's still hard to read on here. So what I'm gonna do is add a fill layer. So I'm just gonna hit plus here. By default, Figma is going to give us a 20% opacity of black. Um, which is definitely in the right direction, but I'm gonna do a radial gradient instead and just make this black at 0% to sort of fade it out. So then I'm gonna make sure the darkest piece here is on the text and then we can fade it out sort of to the middle of this. Um, and instead of 20%, I'm gonna make this 40 so we can actually really read that text. I think that's a lot better. Okay, awesome. Now we just need to do something similar over here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this and we're definitely going to need to crop this a bit. So let's go and let's get rid of the radial gradient because we're not sure exactly what we're going to need for this mobile version yet. And I'm just going to crop this to the size we want and then we'll move the image around inside of it. Okay, so it definitely needs to be a taller image since we're on mobile. And we definitely wanna be able to see the pizza, but we also probably wanna see a little bit of the Coca-Cola branding. So something like this could work really well. Just kind of get rid of that 
dark line there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Maybe we could do a little more of the Coca-Cola logo. Awesome, that looks great. So then let's bring this text over and we'll wanna reformat it for mobile. So this is definitely too big. I'm gonna make this biggest text 48, center it. We'll make this text 20, make sure we center it. And this can be 16, centered. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna scooch it all up a bit. Okay, pretty good, but definitely a bit hard to read. So again, we're just going to add a gradient here and we'll do the same thing to keep it consistent. Make the darkest part in the middle and then we'll make this 40% instead. Let's see if that's easier to read. Uh, still could be actually a little darker. We'll make it 50. Maybe if we even bring this a little darker, just darken the whole thing. There we go. I think that's much easier to read. Make sure that's centered, yeah. So now we have text that's easy to read on both, both platforms and we have sort of the most important marketing piece front and center here, which I think is really going to help with the performance of this page. Number three is this how it works section. So we can definitely make this more clear by using visuals and getting straight to the point when it comes to these instructions. So whenever I read this page, I just sort of skimmed by it and I didn't really linger on it too long. And therefore I obviously wasn't going to go and download the app. Um, I think that we need to make this just more clear and we can do that by adding visuals. So what I did was I just went onto their site, grabbed a few assets of things that I think we could use. So for scan your Coke, this is the emblem that is on the Coke that you can actually scan. I think this acts as like a QR code. Um, this is the actual app that the actual app icon of this specific app that they're using. Coca-Cola has dozens of apps for these types of promotions. This is the one that they intend for you to download. But if I didn't know that, then I probably wouldn't be able to do this promotion. So I think they need to show that in some way. And then if you do download the app, which I did look around on it, these are the images for the promotions. So I was thinking we could sort of just stack these so that these are like, you know, sort of in the back of their mind when they go onto the app, they're going to recognize them and be like, oh, this is what I want to sort of um, enter to win. Let's just grab these titles. So let's just grab these instructions here. We have scan your Coke, probably make this medium and 24, oops. Just give that 20 pixels there. Download the app. And we can keep it simple. Enter the promotion. I think that's going to work really well. Just make sure these are all aligned. Align these to the center. And then we'll group them together. Make sure this one's centered and distribute them evenly here. And we'll just add our title. And I'm just going to duplicate these over here. And of course, since this is mobile, we're going to stack them. And we'll just make sure they're distributed evenly here. Make our title a little bit smaller, centered. So that's number three. I think now these are much more clear. 
And I wanted to say, of course, we are focusing a lot on design decisions in this video, but if you want to get more in depth on Figma in general and how to use Figma to design professional websites, make sure to look at the rest of my content here on this channel, as well as my Figma course with Flux. So that will be linked in the description box below if you wanna check it out. So let's move on to number four, which is really just adding visual interest. So we've done that a bit by adding these visuals, but how else can we bring in some more branded elements and just a little bit more sort of flair um, just to keep it feeling modern and entice people to keep exploring the website. So one easy thing that we can do is just create some rounded edges on the bottom of our hero image. So I'm gonna do 40 pixels on each side of the bottom here. I think that looks nice. And I think 40 will work well on mobile too. Perfect. So that really just encourages scrolling as well because you can sort of see that there is more, more to see when there's those rounded edges as opposed to just a flat cutoff. So that's kind of nice. And then I grabbed some more brand elements that I think we could use. So first, um, they use kind of like these bubbles. They don't look exactly like this, so I sort of took creative liberties, but I think that we could create a bit of a scroll indicator with these little bubbles. So what does something like that look like? Yeah, I think that's actually nice. Let's make sure that they're like really in line. Make that one a bit bigger. Just gonna group those. Yeah, I think that looks good. It doesn't have to be huge or like really, you know, sort of prominent, but just something um, just to add that visual interest. So let's add it over here too. And then lastly, I did find this brand asset that they use. Um, this Coke bottle is like silhouette. And I thought it would be nice to sort of put this in the background at a low opacity, um, kind of just like this, just to create like a little bit of a texture maybe in the background. So let's try that. Yeah, I think that's kind of fun. You could stagger them or make them like sort of perfectly aligned. And then on mobile, send it to the back with left bracket and just sort of stack them here. Yeah, I think that's really fun. Move that up a little bit. Okay, it's already looking a lot better. We have one more thing that I want to do, which has to do with this button here. So when you're on the site and you click download the app, it takes you to another page with the app on it that has these buttons. So in my mind, why make something two steps that could be one step? Let's just have these buttons here, side by side, right under um, download the app so that this is sort of the main CTA of this section. I think that could work really well. So let's just, yeah, we'll do 16, maybe 20 pixels in between these. Make sure it's centered. Perfect. And then we'll do the same down here. But I want to give ourselves 20 pixels on each side. So just make them a little smaller. Perfect. Okay, and then that becomes the main CTA there as well. And that really also helps with figuring out which app the person is going to download because instead of having to search for this, they're just going to go straight to the app store and download it. So 
that hopefully will make this page a lot more frictionless and hopefully make it perform better. And with just those few small changes, I think we made a really good difference. So here's the before and here's the after. I hope this video gave you some ideas of how you might make some small incremental improvements to your own work. Most of us working designers have a lot of guardrails that we have to work within, but we can't forget that our design work can still make a huge impact even when working within those guardrails. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.